Hi guys, it's your girl Layla and I'm here with my mom. Hi, Mariam Sly. Mariam Sly. <laughs> and we... Why are you jealous? That's my husband. She didn't change her last name, so I don't know why she wants to carry this name so bad. That's my husband, Sly. Anyway. I love you the way you are. I did a poll on Instagram, not a poll, but like a questionnaire on Instagram asking people to ask me questions for mother daughter time. So you guys asked and we're here to answer. Basically we're here to deliver. So the first question is, what was I like when I was a child? Oh, very cute, 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 cute baby. So adorable. I couldn't get my eyes off from like you. Like now. So cute. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was her book. How do you feel about me being on YouTube? Oh, my doesn't like each other. No, ma. No, ma. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, What is a weird habit of mine? Jiggly, 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 jiggly. Walking jiggly, jiggly. all over with pants and bra sometimes. Sometimes just pants, like a two-year-old. When you're comfortable, you gotta do whatever to be comfortable. Like, you're home. I feel like I'm walking outside. <laughs> I'm home. Um, if you had to rename me, what would it be? Oh, that's a good question. We had two names, Laylet. And Ghanaian. I like Ghanaians. And my husband win by choosing Layla. Do you know the men are the final saying when it comes to the daughter's the children's name in our Muslim religion, right? But if I have to I'm rename this. her, I think I'll go back and choose Ghanaian. Let me do this. <laughs> <laughs> um when were you most proud of me? <laughs> I'm always proud of you, but the most time that I'm really proud of you, the way you take your ibadah, you know, your salat time, you don't joke with that. That I'm really proud of you, and the way you keep your GPA, your grade in school, you know, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what is something I did as a baby besides always dancing? Ah. Messy, 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 messy. Every baby is messy. For mine as well. You fix it. She stand up, grab it down. She see you coming. She sat down. You start fixing. She start laughing. <laughs> you go sit down. She grab it again. That's what this girl does. Oh my God! Craziest thing I did as a child. I don't think I did. You know how to kick your butt. You know how yeah, she, she, she's she's crazy. I'm that kind of mother that I believe in certain things. Um, something I do that annoys you? Laziness. Lazy, lazy, laziness. A 20 year old. It's tell her to wash the bathroom. It's bathroom. getting better. You go to work and come back. The bathroom is not washed. Lazy. You tell her to fix her room. You have to come back and talk again to fix it. Lazy. That really, really, really annoy me. I hate lazy. It's getting better. Mm -hmm. Um, Where would you like to see me in 10 years? In 10 years from now, inshallah, I want to see you you with your happy family, your we nice, family. responsible husband, your children, together with me and your father and your husband's parents together as a family and i want to see you achieving well. i want to see you achieving that you goal. have two kids by this inshallah inshallah oh, i didn't even think about it <laughs> i cannot wait i cannot wait to see those grandkids wait to be looking so cute just i cannot they're gonna look cute like me they're gonna be like me Yes. <laughs> Inshallah, it's gonna be one boy, one girl. Inshallah. Twins. My girlfriend and my boyfriend. That's what they're gonna be. 
kids and I already have a little boyfriend. The mirror. Oh, the mirror. <laughs> That's my cute boyfriend. It's my I, son. I'll post his picture so you guys will see what that's the my boyfriend. Like. I saw so him. He's so little and chubby. Mm -hmm. um, so at least I want to see you. I want to see you achieving your, your to follow the footsteps to be better than me. So your kids can be better than you by following that your footsteps. That's what I want to see. What is your favorite moment of us together? Oh, when we go on vacation together, you know. We fight, we make up, we don't understand each other sometimes, sometimes we have misunderstanding. I, you know, she don't argue with me, she know better that I gave it to her. She don't argue with I me. I love my life. I love my life. She don't. <laughs> so, when we go on vacation together, you know, it's a time, a moment time we get to sit down and talk things that we need to do oh so my I, that's the part i like my personal favorite is our dance competitions because i dance better than everybody in this house literally. sorry guys but my personal favorite is our dance competitions because i'm literally the dancer of the family oh because these two yeah, you know, people really you can ask all my nieces when there's a party or there's a thanksgiving who win the dance competition not her all my nieces know Anan, Fatima, all of them know. They're, they're going to say you because all of them know. You, you, you know, if you want, we can do a family video and they will ask them. Oh but now God. I don't dance. Since yeah, she I went, went to high, so she's a I'm whole not dancing. new person. I'm not dancing. I would dance in the house, but not to dance to post. If not, I would have done that. What is your? Oh, I just answered. Ask them. Do you think it was the best decision of me being raised in Ghana? Oh yeah, I think so. You know, I, I, I never regretted doing that. I would do it over and over and over again if I have to do it again. At least it gave the child the opportunity to understand the culture and understand the tradition and get to meet some extended family you know and let the child know the importance of family and how to give you know how to you know to give to the ones that are unfortunate i don't think it's anything wrong raising your child in africa i don't think so i enjoy doing it and i think i see the best out of my daughter raising her from africa because when she does something and i beat her she know when she, why I beat her. She know she did something wrong. That's why I beat her. Call me. You know, so. And I think it's very important for every parent to try to send their kids home, especially we that came from Africa. At least it's very but important. not just Africa, though. Everywhere. 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 We that migrate to the United States, like from the third world country, it's very, very important to send your kids back home, let them go see some family that don't have the opportunity or don't have the means to come here. At least they know that they have other cousins and you know, that's what we know. We It's all about family, you know? And family doesn't always have to be blood, guys. Mm -mm. But this is an advice to you guys. If you have a child, obviously not now because we're all too young, but when you go up, get married and have a child, um, take your child back home to be raised for like two, three years like my mom did with me. And I'm gonna do I'm family. gonna do the same thing to my grandkids. If inshallah she got married, maybe hopefully by that time I'll probably I might, be in Ghana. I might relocate it in Ghana. I'll probably be in Ghana. And I'm gonna take my child, my grandkids to Ghana and raise them and give them the best foundation, then let them come back. So my mom asked you this question. You be in Ghana, I don't know. I don't know where you're gonna get the heart. All right, so um, something about each other that makes us proud. My mom already answered this. I'm going to answer it about her. Hopefully, her head doesn't get big. But um, she's a hardworking woman. Like she fights for whatever she wants. Like in my previous video when I came back on YouTube, I talked about how like she's my role model. 
see her head is already getting big. <laughs> um, talked about how she's like my role model and how she fights. Like this lady had me went back to school, um, got her degree, became an RRT, and now she's back in school getting her masters. Like she's really doing good. And I've been to like two. I was supposed to be three, but I've been to two for graduation. Cause she didn't want to graduate last year. But she's graduating this year with me. Next year with me. Sorry. So I'm looking forward to that, which is why I'm really out of her. Cause she likes to like. What is the word? She likes to branch out. She likes to be open to opportunities that she has. Yes. Like she likes to explore. Yes, I do. Yeah. So. I I might be like a little laid back lean back to the world stuff but not lean back to the knowledge yeah she's she's That's really it. into education which is why i'm into education myself so but this is the end of the mother daughter tag but madame corona has a few words for you guys guys so. guys guys please 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 stay home stay home it's dangerous out there stay home i'm a respiratory therapist you know, I can tell you, with being in it, it's not easy. It's very, very, very emotional. People stay home. Are you the mask Yes. Yeah. <laughs> stay home, stay home, stay home, please. You know, okay. wash your hand. Washing hand is very important. You know, putting on the mask. If you have somebody at home who, you know, who got a corona, you know, please you know, that don't mean you're gonna isolate a person in your family. It's still your family. You know, there's a lot of things to do to help. You put on the mask while you're home, very important. And at the same time, we're doing a lot of things at home. We're cooking the... Okay, well, let me talk Let me talk about the tea first. Thank you so much, Ajia Joanna, my sister-in-law. I love her, she loves me. I love her, you know, to death. She's like a big sister to me, even though she's Fatima, my show this to Auntie Johanna so she knows she's loved on this channel. <laughs> um, you know, she made this special paste for me. She told me she mixed it with uh, ginger, garlic, and, you know, lemon, clean lemon with the skin and everything. And she blended it. I'm liking this And look. make it into a paste. And, she, you know, we use it with the uh, ginger uh, tea. <laughs> And when you feel like you have pain around your body, you have a headache, you can use it and put, you know, you, you cook your tea, get the paste, one, one spoon, one tablespoon, teaspoon, put it in it and you can put one Tylenol in it, Tylenol. Not profi. Tylenol in it, you stir it and you drink it. If you don't want to drink it with the stuff in it, you can save it and get the stuff out of it and drink the tea. It's very, very important. You can drink it two or three times a day. Yeah, I just put makeup on two this. or three times a day. You know, it's really help. And the sauna. And my personal sauna. Yeah. We, I call it know, my personal sauna. Boil the water. Every African parent will know that. When we have a baby, that's what they do to us. You boil the water, pour it in the bucket. Some people put a comfort, mat balls. Some people put the data. We do the, the we black seal oil. oil from Saudi Arabia. You know, so we cover it all. We, we cover, cover ourselves, ourselves with a blanket, huge blanket and get a the, the spoon or the anything that stir you use to stir anything that you know will not burn your hand how you, stir, you keep like on this? stirring it like all over so the vapor can get into you and open up your pores and get all the toxins. and by the time and you're done you like literally just sweat sweat and this is not only for and, corona you can do it makes you feel good and oh, you're good. gonna sleep good good but this is the end you done this yeah. is the end of the video you have met Madame Extra. If you think I'm extra, you met Madame Extra herself. And yeah, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. But let me know Please if you want to see. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And let me subscribe for my baby. <laughs> and let me know if you want to see more videos with her inside, and we will do more. Yeah. Yeah.